Okay, now that we have connected everything to the breadboard and Arduino and upload this sketch, we are not go now we're gonna uh, do the HMI and we open the application in the Android. So, okay, and we select Bluetooth. Um, this is gonna be the name of my Bluetooth model. Okay, it's connected. So we're gonna um, add a widget. So the first widget is gonna be the push button for the for the um, turn off engine. So we're gonna use the variable. Uh, the variable is gonna be the B for the turn off, capital B. I'm gonna show you here. Turn off engine, capital B. Okay. And the color we're gonna select is gonna be the red, and we're gonna say off. Okay, and here it is. Now we're gonna do the same for the turn on bottom. Okay, now. Uh, we're gonna add a widget, uh, a switch, switch widget for the um, lights. Let me here, um, this is gonna be. I think it's gonna be the C, C capital C, um, Jello. I'm gonna say lights. <laughs> lights. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna uh, add a widget for the um, intensity of the, of the lights. So we're gonna select the um, slide bar. And uh, we use the variable D. There is an input, so we can show you here. For example, for example attach in in light intensity D. Okay. The tag is going to be lights. Uh, the minimum value is zero. The maximum is going to be 255. And we're going to apply this mask. Okay, because when I use zero to 100, okay. Now we're gonna add the um, fuel level. We're gonna use the bar indicator. Uh, okay, what variable is gonna is gonna be there? Is gonna be the um, fuel level B. Okay, we select B. Uh, green so we're gonna put fuel fuel zero and one thousand twenty three use the mask okay the next widget is gonna be uh, display seven segments uh, for the for the water temperature, so the one. Okay, so for the water is the letter C, and we're gonna select the color blue because the water of the water, and uh, let's see. Water temperature. We tap OK. We're gonna uh, do the same for the um, engine engine revolutions. Uh, 
Now we're gonna add the LED for uh, the doors. So uh, the, the size of this widget are gonna be the normal size. Here. And the pins are four to seven. Let me show you here. Okay, and so the one, four, five, six, and seven as an input pin. Okay. So this this one so is gonna be four. Um, right and door one. Okay. And we do the same to the other doors. The last widget we're gonna add is gonna be um, the engine status. We're gonna so it's gonna be engine. And this is gonna be the pin number three. Let's see. Light engine pin and an engine pin is gonna be the number two. So engine is the pin number two. And we're gonna select the red green color. Okay. And we're gonna save this HMI. So I'm gonna call it car. Let's say okay. Okay. And now we're gonna do the connection between the Arduino and the tablet. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how it works. So now we only have to tap here in the play button. And we have some uh, information here from the water temperature. This is the potentiometer for this variable. And uh, RPM is this potentiometer. This is a uh, trimmer for the um, fuel. Uh, I'm using for um, dip switch for the doors. And uh, two LEDs, one for the engine status and other for the lights. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to turn on the engine. And the engine is on. Okay, I'm going to... Okay. Zoom. <laughs> I'm kidding. And okay. I can change the value here. So I can turn off the engine. Um, I can turn on the lights. Okay, and the doors. Okay, I'm gonna open the door for number one, the number two, and three, and three. And um, okay, I'm gonna turn the light door one, the four, the three, and the two. Okay. Again, okay. And uh, this is the trimmer for the fuel, so I'm gonna change 
dead Balu. Okay. And the last one is, is going to be this, the, the water temperature. So uh, if the temperature is going to get over 300, the engine is gonna stop so let's turn on the engine and okay so this is an example of how to use the HMI uh, controller application for the Arduino thank you